Hello guys, we are starting this vlog from Milan, Italy because today is a very exciting day. Gilano and I have been here for around a week to explore. We had some business meetings, but the most exciting part of this trip is that we are finally going to be picking up our puppy. And guys, it is not just a puppy, it is a golden retriever puppy. And I have been wanting a golden retriever ever since I was young. And now that I am 24 and I'm able to actually get my own, my biggest one of my biggest dreams is coming true oh my gosh this traffic in milan is so crazy um so to pick up the puppy it's around a 40 minute drive an hour drive outside of milan so we're first gonna get a fun drink we're gonna get a brown sugar boba and then we're gonna head over to the puppy we are both so excited we have been looking forward to this moment for so long and it just feels so surreal like it's gonna happen but it doesn't feel like it's gonna happen like we are about to have a puppy so today we had our last day as a child-free couple um, we spent it doing some shopping having some delicious food and from now all of that is going to change because we are becoming parents guys we have some boba tea Right, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Perfectly timed. Mm. This is one of the best bobas I've ever had. We had this yesterday and it was just so good. You're excited? Super excited. We're almost here, guys. So we are the first one. So this one. <laughs> Alright guys, we are in the car with our little baby bear son. The first 20 minutes have already been eventful. Um, I think he's a little bit car sick or a mix with nerves. In the first 20 minutes, he threw up three times. He didn't want to sit on my lap. He didn't want to lay on this like fluffy cushion thingy that we have for him. He does just want to chill on the ground. So he's essentially at my feet. And as soon as I put him there, he fell straight asleep. Gonna have to be a little quiet because he's sleeping. But oh my God, guys, I actually can't believe that we just picked him up. I'm kind of like nervous and stressed for him and I hope that like he doesn't feel that you know what I mean but like I don't want him to suffer because like I feel so bad because he was just like crying obviously because his stomach was probably upset he was like what's going on we basically kidnapped him from his family <laughs> his real dog doggy family um, so I'm so happy that he's sleeping now Sometimes he wakes up for like a split second and then goes back to sleep But like when he fully wakes up, we will stop again. We are currently stopped already, but We'll stop again once he fully wakes up. Jelano is just grabbing himself some food because we didn't eat any dinner And I really need to pee and I really need to go to the toilet, but he is laying on my feet And I just refuse to just refused to get up <laughs> another stop another attempt to get bears into pee but he just doesn't seem to have to pee um yeah i don't know what's happening like we try like not to play with him so like just like ignore him so it's like you know time to go potty whatever but he just doesn't want to His first time in his new home. Aww. Guys, look what he did. He did his first pee on the pee mat. He's at home already. He's just so comfortable. He's running That's around. <laughs> so cute. The aftermath of our 16-hour road trip 
and baby Bearson is settling in. He loves it yeah. here. He's having the time of his life. He's going outside for potty. He's so sweet. He won't sleep though, because I think he's just so excited. So we have his crate. Um, yesterday he was a little afraid to go in here, which is understandable, but now he actually goes in there by himself. This is his little food spot, but we took the bowls away because he wasn't eating. And then this is his little bed, but for some reason he doesn't like it very much. And I think it's because it's like pretty high and the material is like not super soft. I think he prefers like really soft like blankies and stuff like that because he does lay in there. <laughs> it might be a little little too much for him. Um, and he did pee on the carpet around five times, but we are doing our best and interrupting him like while he tries to do it and take him outside. And so far he has peed outside maybe four times now. Look at his bow, he's the cutest dog ever. By the way, it's ever. Only oh yeah, it's only 10 p.m. Of 10 a.m. Sorry. Obviously we were awake at 5 a.m. this morning because of this one. He really needs to sleep. He's just too excited. Hello. Here's a little update from me and baby Bearson. He just passed out, you guys, and I'm so happy about it because like when your dog is still a puppy, sleep is so important. They need to sleep like 18 to 20 hours a day. And I felt like he was having some trouble sleeping just because he was so excited to be here and like explore everything. But now I feel like things have kind of settled down a little bit and he's starting to sleep more, which I'm super happy about. I don't have words. He is doing so good. Um, for the past two days, we have been kind of like potty training. So when we first got here, he used to pee on this rug right here. I think he's used to peeing on like soft, like blankies back home, like with his brothers and sisters and like the little playpen. Um, so he peed on here, but every single time he would, you know, walk to here and he was about to pee, I would interrupt him. I would say, go potty and I would take him outside. And we've been doing that for two days and it's been going really good. Um, he only had one accident, which is just like, what? Like, I don't expect anything from like of him. You know, we've literally had him for two days. Like I would be fine if he was, you know, like not, if he was peeing everywhere. I don't have words. He's so good. He's so smart. He's such a sweet boy. I'm gonna zoom in on him now. Just look at him sleep. I don't wanna bother him too much, but like, this is actually our life right now. I'm so obsessed with him. Everyone's obsessed with him. My mom and my sister came to visit um, as well as Gerano's parents. They came yesterday and he was, again, so happy, so excited. He's so friendly to everyone. He's really just like thriving, like loving, living his life here. That's the only way that I could can explain it. We, on the other hand, have not been getting any sleep. The first night we got him, I slept three hours, then um, two days ago, I slept five hours, and last night was the first time I slept six hours. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely sleep deprived. Look at my under eye bags, but for him, everything's worth it. Anything's worth it. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my time with him now that he is still a little, little, little baby. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, still, I'm in shock that we brought this little guy home. I'm gonna come a little closer. I don't want to bother him because I don't want to wake him up, but he is just so peaceful. He's the most perfect little angel. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm.